Let me say good afternoon uh, to everyone. I'm joined today uh, by Carolyn Watson of J.P. Morgan uh, Chase and virtually by Mike Temple of the Workforce Solutions, Alicio Cisneros, a member of the city's new COVID-19 Community Health Education Fellows Program, Dr. Asim uh, Shah, and Dr. Uh, Keila Lopez of the Mayor's Health Equity Response Task Force, and Julius Tepex, uh, Director of the Mayor's Office of Education. Uh, earlier this year, J.P. Morgan Chase uh, provided the City of Houston a, a grant to develop a new initiative known as the COVID-19 Community Health Education Fellows Program. The program is designed to educate and empower at least 100 youth and young adults to help us fight COVID-19, especially in our most vulnerable communities. The program recruited individuals between the ages of 18 to 30 from Houston's neighborhoods determined to have the greatest vulnerability using the CDC social vulnerability data, health data, and accessibility data. Uh, this included 17 priority super neighborhoods and the 10 complete communities. And thanks to the $100,000 grant provided by J.P. Mark and Chase earlier this year, we are here to celebrate our first cohort of chefs who successfully completed 10 weeks of healthcare training to fight COVID-19. When I launched the Mayor's Health Equity Response Task Force, HERB, the chef program became a part of the City of Houston's COVID-19 recovery efforts and was designed and developed under the leadership of my Office of Education and the HER Task Force Public Education Subcommittee. Uh, and that's headed by Councilmember Cisneros, there she is. Uh, because they are from the community, we know that our chefs have a deeper understanding and appreciation of their neighbors. All chefs successfully completed their community health worker and contact tracing certifications at either Houston Community College or Lone Star College. And we have a representative from Lone Star uh, College with us today. Uh, this president head, uh, that's right. I'm getting everybody's names messed up today. <laughs> president Wright, that's with us today. Thank you for joining us uh, for a long star. After successfully completing their training, they started their paid internship at the city of Houston to help with COVID-19 response, working at least seven weeks, earning $15 per hour for 32 hours a week. Our chefs are frontline public health workers they work with communities, neighborhoods, and faith-based institutions to gather information to tailor public health education and wraparound services. And this is a rigorous program that demands a whole lot from its participants. We have had 41 start the program, and as of Monday, uh, 35 will have successfully completed all the certifications and training required to become a chef. And we are recruiting for additional cohorts uh, so we will have 100 persons successfully completing this program by year's end. Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase helped us start this program. Certainly want to thank them. We're also deeply appreciative of the post-secondary institutions that have supported this program, including the University of Houston, Houston Community College, Long Star College, and the University of Texas Health Science Center, School of Public Health, and Rice University. We have also partnered with Workforce Solutions, which has agreed to provide funding to support the internships of 44 chefs. And we have collaborated with the Houston Health Department, uh, who is represented here today by Norma, to provide us with training and guidance. This is a great program that focuses on the urgent needs for community health workers to help us respond to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So again, my congratulations to our chefs, and thank you so very much for you are for our outstanding partners. And now let me uh, stop and let me uh, pause and bring up J.P. Morgan um, uh, Chase, represented by Carolyn Watson, uh, to speak in, uh, on behalf of this program. <laughs> Carolyn, thank you again. You've helped us in the, all helped us in the previous years, and you're with us again this year, Carolyn. Thank you, Mayor. While the pandemic has touched every part of our community, and for young people who just graduated high school, were starting college, or had dreams of starting a career, those plans have been postponed or possibly even derailed. Meanwhile, COVID-19 has made clear the importance of people serving on the front lines and the need for community health workers. 
To address these needs, the Mayor's Higher Houston Youth Program created the COVID-19 Public Health Education Fellowship. It recruits adult, young adults from 20 Houston neighborhoods hardest hit by COVID-19 to complete a certified community health worker program and externship with the City of Houston. J.P. Morgan Chase is pleased to support this fellowship program by providing a $100,000 grant for tuition, wages, test fees, and wraparound supports. Higher Houston Youth has expertly leveraged public funds and other dollars with the Chase Grant so it can serve more people. They can serve 100 young people through this effort. This program offers a first step to a career in healthcare. It also gives young people a chance to serve their communities during an unprecedented time. J.P. Morgan Chase appreciates the mayor's leadership and the efforts of the mayor's office to bring all these partners together to make sure that this fellowship program is a success. And we're just so grateful to be a part. Thank you, uh, Carolyn, and, and, and for you all's participation. I also want to acknowledge Stephanie Nellens Page, who is also a member of the Health Equity Response Task Force uh, that's here, and Shannon Buggs, who's the uh, director of Complete Communities and providing leadership to the, her task force. Um, again, uh, uh, let me also acknowledge the support of Mike Temple uh, from the Workforce Solutions, uh, for, and uh, Mike is here supporting us and joining us virtually. Uh, Mike, well, uh, let's turn to you. Mike Temple with Workforce Solutions. Thank you so much, Mayor. I'm so pleased and proud to be here today on behalf of the Gulf Coast Workforce Board and Workforce Solutions. I wanna say what a great honor it is to support this program and especially to support the young people who are gonna be doing this very vital work. It is a, a special pleasure for me to be able to see two of them here with me virtually and to congratulate them on their work. And we look forward to supporting them and the other young people from throughout Houston who'll be participating in this project. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks, Mike. I appreciate your, your uh, involvement and participation and participation in Workforce Solutions. We also want to hear from one of our chefs, uh, Elicio Cisneros, is a member of the COVID-19 Community Health Education Fellows, and uh, he will be coming with, with his remarks at this time, Elicio. Good afternoon, my name is Elika Cisneros. I am part of the first chef cohort by the mayor's office. I am currently working with the community of Denver Harbor. I personally grew up within the 77023 Second Ward and Magnolia community. It is those per personal experience that allowed me to understand the physical and the social determinants that have helped me throughout this fellowship. We have also worked within the microsite the Merkur site is divided into four different areas. It is divided into survey, COVID prevention, maps, and mental health. We have divided these because they are important for our community because we know that there is no awareness thus far to the extent that is needed. I also have two of my fellow coworkers, colleagues, Ansel Juarez, who was part of the SIGAST community, and Allison Moore, who is part of the Sunnyside community. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Cisneros. Um, <laughs> really, really, really appreciate that, and well done. Uh, the rest of you want to just say your names? You know, you're here virtually. You just want to just say something. The two others that are on this, uh, that are with us virtually. Hi, I'm Allison Moore, and I'm representing the Sunnyside, um, the Sunnyside community. And I just want to say thank you for affording us this opportunity to be here with you all and to take part in this program. Thank you. Hey everyone, uh, this is Ansel Juarez. I just want to thank um, the mayor and everybody that made this opportunity possible for us. It honestly changed my life. You no, know, a lot of other chefs can also say that. So thank you for that. It means a lot. Well, thank all of you. You represent three of the 35 who have successfully completed it and uh, the additional ones that we're expecting by the end of the year. I also want to bring up two important persons who have worked closely with the chefs. Uh, let me start off with Dr. Dr. Shaw. Uh, and then I will be followed by uh, Dr. Lopez, Dr. Shaw. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> so first I would like to welcome our 30 plus chefs. Um, it is an honor to work with you and uh, during the training, it was very visible that you guys are very engaged and not only engaged, very interested in reducing the infectivity in this city, in this town. So that is amazing, that's appreciated. 
This is a very innovative program in many ways, and only a person who has the acumen of uh, this kind of innovation can think about that. I'm talking about our mayor. Uh, mayor created this, her task force, and uh, this task force is especially focusing on people who are underserved or underprivileged and the minorities because we have seen the disease spread in those areas much more faster. Uh, so with that, from the Public Health Subcommittee, uh, I'm the co-chair of Public Health Subcommittee, I would like to thank Mayor and the whole team of our Public Health Subcommittee, especially Juliet. Uh, it has been really a pleasure and hopefully with this initiative, we will be able to reduce the infectivity in the city. Thank you and continue to do the good work. Thank you. Good afternoon. As a Latina public health physician and a pediatric cardiologist at Texas Children's Hospital, I feel that the HER task force has been critically important in getting public health messaging for adults and children to diverse communities about COVID-19. Particularly for non-English speakers, having trusted chefs from those communities who have the ability to communicate with the residents in their respective languages is of utmost importance in getting our public health messaging across. Our public health subcommittee, along with the medical and faith-based subcommittees, have conducted multilingual town halls to educate communities of color on COVID-19 and how comorbid conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes result in poorer outcomes, as well as the fact that children can and sometimes do get quite ill from COVID-19. Working with the chefs to bring awareness in the effective public health principles of appropriate mask wearing, hand washing, social distancing, as well as continued preventative health practices such as vaccinations and health screenings is key to helping reduce COVID-19 and other disparities in Houston's community of color. I'm grateful for the mayor's her task force, in particular, uh, the public health subcommittee and the chefs for working so diligently to shed a public health light on ways to reduce disparities on COVID-19 transmission rates and mortality for diverse communities in Houston. Thank you, Dr. Pat Lopez. And at this time, let me bring up Julie Estepech, Director of the Office, of Mayor's Office of, of, of Education, and also someone who has given leadership to the CHEF program, Juliet. It's a, a privilege and an honor to be able to stand here with such outstanding leaders who deeply care about our community. Um, I just want to say a huge round of thanks to the Mayor's Health Equity Response Task Force, the leaders from our Mayor's Office who have shown countless devotion of hours and time and attention to the communities that uh, should be served at this time. Um, I also want to just say thank you to the partners. Um, you have made this an extraordinarily engaging um, and a very powerful process to see how we can collaborate and work together to ensure that our most vulnerable communities receive the information and the services that they deserve. And I also want to say that the applications are still open for our cohorts. And if you wish to become a candidate, please contact david.sly, S-L-Y, at wrksolutions.com to learn about how to apply and become a COVID Community Health Education Fellow. And once again, thank you, Mayor, for allowing us this opportunity to serve. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Juliet, for your leadership and giving vision to this program. Uh, again, let me thank the HER Task Force and all of the participants that are part of the HER Task Force. Uh, let me thank the Houston Health Department uh, for its participation in this program. And of course, higher ed, uh, uh, Houston Community College, and Dr. Wright with Long Star uh, Community College. Thank you. Uh, thank the college, uh, Chancellor Head, uh, for his leadership and involvement with this program. Uh, and again, the focus is on at-risk, vulnerable communities, and what better way to address what's happening in our communities than to utilize individuals who are coming from those communities and put them um, as they help put them on a course to advance their own careers, uh, like uh, it, Dr. Eliseo uh, uh, Cisneros, uh, who is standing right here uh, to, my, to my right. <laughs> as we say, we call those things that are not as though they are, and they shall be. So uh, look forward to seeing you again uh, as one of your patients, free of charge. Uh, <laughs> remember that when you see me again, you know. I said that was going to happen free of charge. <laughs> no appointment required. <laughs>
All right, again, let me thank J.P. Morgan Chase again uh, for their investment in this program. Uh, but this is the way we go out and we reach the people in these communities. And the reason being is because COVID-19 is having a disproportional impact on communities of color, okay? And so uh, we've got to get the message out and this is one way of doing it. So thank you all so very much.